saw Darren out there for the first time. Uh, is he going to play against Hawaii? Or I, I would say um, questionable, and let's see how he gets going early in the week. Um, he hasn't done much. You know, he's going to be cleared to play. I think it's just a matter of what, how he responds as we get back into training and what it feels like for him. But um, I think medically he's cleared. We're just we're working through, you know, just that return and, and what it feels like for him. Christian James? Um... Won't be ready, um, and he's probably still a couple of weeks out, but getting closer. And, you know, I would imagine in the early part of the season we'll see him out there. And it, one of the things with Christian will be, time away you know we'll have to give him a chance to you know get his legs back under him you know once once he's fully clear to participate but um, I see him getting back into training in the next couple of weeks and from there we'll just ramp up and hopefully he's ready you know um, here again like I said in the first you know first few games of the year. What do you think CJ has, has looked as he's coming back? He's been a difference maker I mean he's he's picked up where he's left off um, he's just disruptive out there and I think you know that position's come along. Obviously, I felt like we were a long way away when we were at Ensworth scrimmaging. Um, we made some strides with our young players. Still waiting for Jeff Ugo to come back. He'll he'll strengthen that position. But getting CJ back was a big boost, and he'll he'll help with uh, with Bryce's development as well because that's someone that Bryce can look to and 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 really help to mentor. You know, because we we we're excited about what Bryce brings to the table. And I think once you get you know, those, those top end guys healthy, uh, CJ, Jeff, and Bryce, you've got three guys that can make a difference on the field. But we're, we're happy to have CJ back. What do you see differently with the Hawaii team this year versus last year? Well, it's just like they've got new faces and they've got new design. You know, they've got, they've kind of reorganized their staff. And so there's going to be some elements of getting to know them as we go. Um, and similar to last year in that respect. But, you know, I know Timmy, and um, I've got a ton of respect for him, and I, I know that he'll have that team ready to play. And similar to, you know, if you go from our first game first year to our first game second year, we made, you know, tremendous progress. You know, they're, they're going to do the same thing. And so we'll have our work cut out for us. I think the first game of the year is always um, the excitement of the unknown. You know, we're going to have to be a really mature team and come out here and, and outplay a team that's going to be hungry for a win. And so um, right now this group's up for the challenge. we got to maintain the level of focus and intensity through the week and make sure that we're ready to play before we begin. How comfortable would you say you guys are as a, as a team playing, playing in a little bit of a new look stadium? I, it, you know, I think we're excited about it. I mean, you know, I, there's obviously aspects of this that are different, but anytime we're over here, you know, there is a sense of this is our home turf, but there's also this sense of being right in the middle of our progress. And yeah, I think everyone gets excited and draws energy from, even though there's inconvenience from the construction and from the noise. And you can, you can start at least on the north end to kind of close your eyes and think about what that'll look like and feel like. That's gonna create a different environment than we've had just on that end alone. You start adding the south end and you can see how this is gonna become a really neat you know, game day environment. And um, right now, you know, we are who we are, right? We're under construction, but the vision's there. And for us, um, we've talked as a team about the legacy we have and um, taking advantage of all the opportunities we have here to make sure when this thing is finished that we're, we're packing it out with Vanderbilt fans and we have an exciting environment for Saturday nights in, in Nashville, Tennessee. That's our goal. The continuity on the O line, and then having AJ return and the receivers. Do you feel like this is an offense that can hit the ground running a little bit more? I do. You know, we we've seen them. We've seen them have you know sustained success and um, consistent success through camp. And I think as we've as we've grown on defense, there's been some really healthy back and forth there. In college football, the first game is, is always, you know, there's, there's an element of getting your legs underneath you. And even last year, the way that game finished was far different than how it started. And so, you know, my charge to them right now is that over the next week that we are so focused on the things that matter, the things that are going to allow us to be ready physically, mentally, spiritually, and emotionally when the ball's put down, the things that we're going to give our attention to through the middle of the game where we're paying attention and we're communicating and we're adjusting, adapting and executing 
as the game plan evolves, our performance should amplify from first quarter to fourth and then having a laser focus at the finish. Um, and if we can do those things from an identity standpoint, you know, the play is gonna be sporadic because it's game one, but we feel good, we'll have felt good about where we are physically and, and what our skill level is. It's gonna come down to the focus and the mental part of it to make sure that we're showing up with our identity. Have you uh, talked to Timmy Chang about the, you know, supporting the Hawaii fund or, or you know, key the game? We, we've, we've gone back and forth in text. I actually ran into Timmy um, this summer too. And um, yes, you know, I sent him a text message of support uh, early on uh, to he and his staff and his players. Um, I can't imagine what they're going through and, and um, how hard it must be to you know, prepare for a season while also dealing with so much, um, just so much challenge right there at home. And um, you know, he appreciated that message. And then obviously with the announcement, with you know some of the proceeds from the game and that support that Vanderbilt's shown, uh, he was very appreciative of that too. And you know, we, we um, obviously we're gonna we're gonna come together in the spirit of competition and. Um, we're going to come together um, in honor of the game we love, and I think that's a beautiful thing. But, um, you know, Hawaii is on our hearts, and Maui's on our hearts, and Timmy and his team and staff are on our hearts. And um, we look forward to celebrating football and a game day experience with them and welcome them to Nashville. But uh, certainly, um, you know, we're going to be mindful of, of what they're going through and, and supportive of them too. Does that like hit home a little bit more, you think, based on having gone there last year and experienced and immersed, immersed yourselves in the culture a little bit? Yeah, our guys that were with us, I mean, they, they recognize, and this is what we talked about as a team, you know, in our team meeting last week, as it was kind of all, um, you know, becoming public, was just we, we know how sacred um, that land is to Hawaiian people. And we experienced that with them. They, they taught us that. And um, so we ache not only for, you know, the, 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 the cost of human lives, but also the, the, the um, you know, what, what can't be undone to that land too. And our, our team understands that um, and our program understands that. And so certainly we're, um, like I said, you know, our hearts are with them and, and um, we look forward to competing with them and playing the game of football with them and we want um, you know, our preparation to be top notch and we want to um, we want to play our best to open the season against them. But we also look forward to welcoming to Nashville and um, in, in, in sharing with them, you know, the affection we have for what they're going through. One more. Uh, the, the cornerbacks, you know, it seems like that BJ and Tyson are you know, potentially going to be the guys like when they come off a really tough season for both of them last year and you've got these talented young guys, how short is the leash? I don't. I don't see it so much as a short leash. I think you're gonna you're gonna see all those guys playing, you know. And it's not gonna be a, you know two guys playing the entire game. I mean, we need to get you know Martell in the game. I mean, he needs to be a part of our plan. You know, we need to get Trudell Berry in the game. He needs to be a part of our plan. We, you know, those guys can play winning football for us. And so whatever it looks like at the beginning. Um, I expect to see all those guys out there and um, and then I think over time it separates you know and we find out where the split of snaps goes but I'm excited to, to have some depth and to have some guys that are hungry to get out in the field and compete and I think both BJ and Tyson have made a ton of progress um, and there's no such thing as a corner playing without a, a bad snap you know are we downing our mistakes are we capping the the big plays um, are we able to reset, refocus, and win the response? Those will be the things that we'll be looking for in their performance. Certainly not perfection, because it's never going to be that way. Um, but, um, you know, I, I, I've got a ton of trust in BJ and Tyson. I love the camps that they've had. And then we have emergent playmakers in, in, in some of our depth and our youth. And I'm excited for that, too. And in the end, it'll be the best 11 that are on the field when, when it counts at the end of the game. Um, but we'll, we'll give a chance for everyone to have, have a, a go at being out there competing because they've earned it.